ladies and gentlemen, live from the Memphis Zoo, the Zoo Dude, Matt Thompson! Welcome everyone. Today, we're gonna check in with the Zoo Dude Food Channel show host of Chomp and Chew, our celebrity chef, Gal Fietti. Thanks, Matt. We're gonna be trekking around the zoo, showing all the blocks of flavor that are gonna hit the zoo guests' tongues like the Simon Call hits their ears. When you come to the zoo, you're gonna wanna load up on some prehistoric fare. Try this delicious Bronto Dino Pretzel. Or, you wanna get one of the Brontosaurus legs, they're bomb.com tasty. And if you're still hungry, check out the kebabs. They're kebab awesome. If you're looking for tasty treats, Safari Sweets can't be beat. Try this flavor-tastic orange cream soda. Or how about this dance on your tongue delicious root beer float? Yeah, they're both more fun than a goat on a boat. Here we are inside the crown jewel of the Mitha Zoo, the Cat House Cafe. So, you've eaten your way around the zoo, but you're still a little peckish? Don't worry, Cat House Cafe's got you covered in a snuggie full of deliciousness. They've got salads, they've got wraps, fresher than the Prince of Bel Air. And check out this souvenir goblet, perfect for the queen of Tasty Town, that's me. For $8.49, you can fill this bad boy up with your favorite soda or an ice cold iced tea. And get this, when you come back to the zoo, Bring this awesome sauce thing back with you, because you can fill it up for just a buck. Matt, that's it for another episode of Chomp and Chew at the Zoo. You stay tasty, everyone. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Alex with Living Exhibits. So Alex is a stingray and shark keeper here at the Memphis Zoo. So Alex, I'm excited. We're gonna do some diet prep here. So tell me what we're getting into. Um, we are gonna cut up some capelin, squid, shrimp, and maybe some mackerel. So if you wouldn't mind cutting up that capelin for me, that would be great. I would love to. All right, we got some capelin here. So Alex, how is this similar to their diets in the wild? Yes, yeah, so in the wild, they eat a lot of clams and oysters. Um, here we supplement that with fish, shrimp, squid, um, we do feed clams as enrichment, so right. they, they are still doing that natural foraging behavior that we're looking for. So tell, tell me this, um, what can we do to help with shark and ray conservation in the wild? So we as consumers can use Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch Program. Um, that provides guidelines for us buying seafood and picking that out that has been fished and farmed in a way that keeps our oceans happy and healthy. Awesome. I love practical conservation advice like that. All right. What do you think? Oh yeah, really good. I can see why they like these. Pretzel sticks from the Cat House Cafe right here at the Memphis Zoo. All right, so while we're here, there is one myth about these animals that I want to bust. And that is that they kill 10 people a year. Stingrays are actually very gentle creatures and generally only use their venomous barb when they feel threatened. During beach trips, avoid coming into contact with a stingray by doing the stingray shuffle. When you are walking in the ocean, drag your feet through the sand. Stingrays burrow into the sand and this motion will warn them of your presence. The stingrays will swim away and no harm done. That brings us to the end of our show. But before I go, do you have any cool zoo videos or photos that you'd like to share? Or maybe you have questions you would like me, the zoo dude, to answer. Send them in for a chance to be featured on our next episode. Send them to zoodude at memphiszoo.org. See you next time. Oh, hello, I'm a dinosaur. Yay.